My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on this third Sunday of Easter, the Gospel taken from John 21, 1-19 presents the appearance of Jesus to seven of his disciples by the Sea of Tiberias. The context is Peter wanting to go fishing and six others join him. Unfortunately, the whole night they caught nothing. Towards daybreak, Jesus came to them and told them to cast their net on the right side. And they had huge catch of fish. This must have reminded Peter of his first encounter with Jesus in similar circumstance. Jesus was preaching one day, got into Simon's boat, and after preaching told him to cast his net into deep waters. Peter said, the whole night we caught nothing. But if you say, I'll do it. And when he did, he had huge catch of fish. Peter was surprised. Jesus told him, henceforth you will become fishers of men. Peter left everything and followed the Lord. However, Peter did not recognize that it was the same Jesus who has risen from the dead is now responsible for this miraculous catch of fish. Someone recognized Jesus and told Peter, It is the Lord. On hearing it is the Lord, Peter put on his clothes and jumped towards Jesus. Here, the beloved disciple recognized immediately it is the Lord because he loves the Lord and knows that he is loved by the Lord. Love somehow enables one to recognize the beloved. If we want to recognize the risen Lord in our life, we need to love him more. Then when they came to the shore, breakfast was ready. Jesus had prepared bread and fish on charcoal fire. Bread and fish since ancient time represents the Eucharist. After the good breakfast, we have the encounter between Jesus and Peter. Peter was asked thrice, Simon, son of John, do you love me? According to some scholars, Jesus asking three times the same question is to affirm the love of Peter three times because he had denied him three times. However, to the answer given by Jesus, uh, uh, Peter, Jesus gave three different responses. So let us look into them. When Jesus said, Simon, do you love me? Peter said, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lamb. Lamb stands for the simple, helpless, vulnerable people the poor people. And Jesus wants Peter to feed the poor, the vulnerable, that they may have faith in Jesus. Because if they have faith in Jesus, victims will become victorious. In today's second reading, taken from Revelation 5, 11 to 14, the lamb who was victim slaughtered is now worthy to receive glory and honor and is now victorious over sin and death. So Jesus wants Peter to feed the poor people with the word of God that they may have faith in Jesus and that they become victorious in life. When Jesus asked the second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon gave the same answer, Just yes, Lord, you know that I love you. And this time he said, Then my sheep. In other words, Jesus, who is the shepherd, is making Peter once again to be his shepherd. He wants Peter to be a good shepherd like him, who knows his sheep, who protects his sheep, who leads his sheep to green pasture, and who will even lay down his life for his sheep. And Peter will do that. 
Third time when Jesus asked Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter broke down and said, yes, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. And Jesus said, feed my sheep. So Peter is not just to tend the sheep, to know, to lead them to good pasture and to die, but he is also to feed them with the word of God and feed them with the body and blood of Christ. Into this first reading from Acts 5, 27 to 32, 40 to 41, Peter is doing that. He took his mission seriously and started preaching, feeding people with the word of God. And when he was stopped, he simply said, we will obey God rather than human beings. And finally, in order to feed people with the word of God, in order to feed people with the Eucharist, Peter will give up his life. This was pointed out by Jesus in the gospel reading. When you were young, you could go wherever you like, but when you grow old, someone else will lead you. And by this, Jesus was referring to the way he is going to lay down his life for the sake of his master. Therefore, the encounter of Jesus with Peter is a clear sign that we too should become like Peter to feed the poor, the lamb to tend the sheep, to become good shepherds, and to even lay down our lives for our flock. When we do this, we will experience the power of the resurrection in our life and the experience of resurrection will make us to even face death bravely. Let us pray for one another for this grace. God bless.